Red X trapped me here for days, and you dispelled it all on your own. You must have powers beyond mortal ken. And finally, someone who recognizes my brilliance. Yes, I am quite powerful. In fact, I'm on my way to give the Dragon Lord a taste of my food. Then your path is through the Hall of Heroes. I know it well, though I was too weak to reach it. Come, this way. When I heard of the Queen's death, I journeyed here, hoping the latent soul energy of this city would allow me to bring her back. Perhaps you can succeed where I fail. I wasn't picked off by skeleton patrols. You must reach the All of Heroes beyond the inner wall. The Dragon Lord is using the Wells of Sin to keep it blocked off. If you can cleanse the Wells, you'll lift the axis. Only by cleansing the Wells of Sin. Can you take down the barrier, Hexes, blocking your way? Did you hear what that old guy said? We can bring back Blood Stallion! I don't know, she's got a pretty grisly fate. Ah, uh, but you forget, dear friend. Fate does not divide us. Fate brings us together. How is it gonna bring her head and her body back together? I haven't thought that through yet! Thank you. 
the best. Everything tastes so I'm done with these hexes now. I just want to get to the boss. What? No need to rush.
Tina. Are you padding out the campaign so that we'll stay here and play bunkers and badasses with you? <laughs> no. Uh, the ancient catacombs are an integral part of the narrative. So who's laughing now, Valentine High? Hey, ha! They're not, but I'll take the opportunity. <sighs> with all this soul energy flowing to me, I can create all sorts of new nightmares. This city was built by a civilization of advanced sorcerers named the Vatu. I've launched an eon of dark campaigns from here, but it was dead long before I arrived. The Vatu understood what soul energy was. They designed the city itself to siphon it out of the world. They used it to rule like arrogant gods at the expense of everyone else. Actually, a pretty good gig if you can get it. I'll skip the rest of the exposition since you know where it's going. The Vatu and their souls were absorbed by the very arcane mechanisms they created. Classic. Just goes to show, no one stays the master forever. <laughs> of their own oh. stories, but they never lived up to their namesake. They just played her game and went through the motions, because that's exactly what she wants. <sighs> Take these creations of mine. They exist only to do my bidding, and when they fail, I'll just make a hundred more. Because they're disposable, like you. Yeah. <laughs> 
You're special, unique, one of a kind. Do you even have a name, Fate Maker? Has anyone ever said it? Has she? Yeah, didn't think so. Ready to go again? Okay, newbie, to the Hall of Heroes! Basically, it's a giant sweet ass magic laser that you can use to blow open the bin. This speaks to me. Hey, those guys are hanging out around our giant sweet yeah. ass magic laser. Kick their asses. Giant spinning blade. Attack. Swing. Arcane device. 
device is supercharged with dispel energy. Hope it's super duper charged. <laughs> Electrocute! What's that they say? No rest for the wicked? You hear a familiar whinny, and for a moment, you feel hope. It's like a dream. But this is not your queen. It's a nightmare.
Those scrolls weren't prophecies. I wanted to show you what she did to me. What she's doing to you all over again. Okay, Tina. This is your first time playing, right? I mean, yeah. Who would I play with? Everyone else I know is dead. What's it called? Bunkers and Badasses. It's a fantasy game. A place where you can be a hero. Where your imagination can change the world. Ooh, I'm the best at imagining, man. That's perfect. But first, we gotta make a character. Tell me about your Fate Maker. The Fate Maker's tale begins as so many do with a heart full of fire and dreams full of dragons and magic. He's the coolest, most powerful hero that everyone wants to be friends with. The Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight? Yeah, I like it. dumb to say and um it's just really cool to play a game with a friend because I, I haven't really I really had one well let's go make some more Tina I want to make this an adventure you'll never forget it feels like something lost long ago has been found again it feels like home you reach the inner chamber of the obsidian the Sword of Souls sits before you. Now, this is a big choice. So... He takes it, and he blows up every bad guy everywhere! Are you sure? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do it! Boom! Alright, but that turns your character evil. What? No, girl, Dragon Knight ain't evil! He's, he's a hero! He's a fight maker! Uh, he just blew up thousands of people? Don't you think that's evil? Tina, wait! The Fate Maker is alone. Abandoned for a crime he never chose. He's never chosen anything. He begins to think for himself. No more dice, or fate. No more masters. He... I... Dream of dragons and magic. I awaken, my heart filled with fire and purpose. Resurrection. I am reborn, the Dragon Lord. Do you still believe there's a choice, Fate Maker? I'd rather find out for myself. Thank you very much. I hoped you could see the truth. I'm not evil. She just writes me this way. Well? <gasps> come on, then. If you insist on being a hero, there's only one way for this to end. Only one task remains. Ascend the pyramid, defeat the Dragon Lord, and take back the Sword of Souls. Okay, so that's like three, one, tasks. But do it!
I'm a queen. Rule or sell? Like eagle. You gonna do that puzzle? Smithy. Everyone needs implements of destruction. 